Hi beautiful people, hello beloveds, it's your girl Brenna Kimbi. On today's episode of Raising the Bar, I'll be talking about something that my friends, those I've got to work with, those I know, people who write me inbox, tell me, Brenda, how do you spend time with God? How do you get intentional about being in the presence of God and all that? This video is just going to be a snippet. I will definitely do a whole series on how to go about this, but today I just want to give a few tips on how to spend time with God. The truth is, what I'm about to say is a disclaimer. It may work for me and may not necessarily work for you. This is just some eye-opening tips. You can customize what I'm going to say to suit your own reality because we have different lives, different schedules. Diff we have so many things that are just different. So you just have to take what I have to say and see how you can implement it to fit how you relate with God. So the first thing is, on spending time with God, you have to be intentional about it. In life, nothing just happens. You have to be intentional about waking up, taking that conscious effort to spend time with God. So it's not like it's some miraculous thing or it's some sort of rocket science that just happens like that. You have to be intentional. That is the first tip I'm going to say. When you are close to someone or when you want to get closer to someone or when you want to know someone better, you get intentional about knowing that person. So it's the same thing with spending time with God. You have to be intentional about spending time with God. Now the second tip is you have to know why you want to spend time with God. In the beginning of my work with Christ, it was challenging for me to really spend time with God because I just wanted to do it for routine sake. But as I grew older and as I'm still getting to know God more for myself, I discovered that you have to know why. You cannot just wake up and then you just want to do things because of routine and all that. Routine checks to know. What I do is, why do I want to spend time with this person? Who is God to me? Why? What do I want to learn? What do I want Him to tell me? Because most times we go to God simply because we just want us. We just want to complain, to cry, to ask for things, but we don't go to God to listen. So that is very important. The why behind everything you do in life is very important. Now the third thing is you have to be in any activity or you have to be intentional about being in church being for bible study or being for prayer meetings so normally it's 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 the case with everyone it's not always exciting all the time but when you belong to a church a faith or a word-based church that you are in a cell meeting or you are in a, in a group in the church and all that it gives you that time so sometimes even when you want to slow down and all that you discover you are spending time like for example if you have to work from Mondays to Wednesdays and you have Bible study on Thursdays and you have prayers meetings on Fridays so whether you like it or not your schedule imposes it subconsciously and makes it possible for you to spend time with God you have Sunday service you have Bible study you have prayer meetings another tip is worship what I usually do is sometimes it's not every time you feel like praying so what you can do to help this is you listen to lots of worship songs. That is another video on its own. The kind of worship songs you listen to. Is it praise? Is it worship? What kind of songs do you listen to? With that, it helps to stir your spirit. We can only know God. We can only be children of God if we spend adequate time with God. After worship, another tip I'm going to get is, it is very important to have people you look up to. People who can tell you, Brenda, what you're doing is not right. You can go this way. So with me, I have cell leaders, I have friends, I have people who I think and I know I have discerned that they are ahead of me in the faith. So because of who they are and the positions they occupy and all that and our relationship, it is easier for me to for them to tell me, oh Brenda, can we do this program? Can we do this? Can we go for this activity and all that? And that is why your circle and the kind of people you keep, it's very important i have given a few tips but the truth is let us take it out of that spiritual side even you with your friends even with your boyfriend even with your partner your husband your colleague you can only know someone if you are intentional and spend time with that person that is how god is and that is why it is written in the bible that my sheep knows my voice and i know the voices of my sheep you, if you can never listen to God talking to you if you don't know his voice. How do you know his voice? You know his voice by spending time studying the word, spending time with him, meditating on this word. 
do all you can to know him to love him to nurture that relationship and trust me whenever god is going to talk to you you will definitely know his voice and he will know your voice so that is it the same time you spend with trying to know be texting calling sending little messages having butterflies that's the same energy you put in this walk of faith nothing happens by chance everything happens because it is what we want and we are intentional about it that is the only way you get to spend time with god these are just a few tips i know all of you watching if you have other tips as i said this is just a short video because i had so many messages on it i just wanted to put it out there if you have other ways that you think we you can spend time with god it can improve on your relationship with god just drop it in the comment section somebody can pick up something or two from that oh before i forget reading your bible that too is very important you can the the bible is god's mind i say the bible is a fragrance of god you can only know god by studying the scriptures the scriptures were inspired by the holy spirit so when you study the word of god when you read the bible that is how you get to spend time with god because the more you study the bible the more you know how god thinks and the more you know what god wants for your life so how to study the bible is another video but today we are talking about spending time with god and reading the bible is one of the ways we use to spend time with god until next time i hope i helped in this video i wanted to make it very short but i hope i was able to say something that is going to contribute to your spiritual growth i'm your girl brenda kimby keep watching if you haven't subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for if you've already subscribed thanks i love you very much and if you've not joined the bk nation can you just join the bk nation until next time remain blessed keep raising the bar bye